In MathCAD, you can perform vector and matrix operations. In this second video, we're going to take a look at the transpose, norm, and vectorization commands. Let's go to the matrices tables tab, and from this dropdown, we can access the matrix transpose command, which is the keyboard shortcut of Control Shift T. If you take a look on my worksheet, here I have a vector. It is a vertical vector with the three different math constants. If I go to the math tab, oops, double clicked and accidentally closed it. If I go to the math tab and then constants, here you can see that we have infinity, and then we have the logarithm base E, and then we have old familiar pi. So if I want to transpose this vector, I can click on the sheet, and let's define a new variable. I will call it MC for math constants. And then I will use the definition operator. If you are not familiar with that, you can go to the operators dropdown. And it is this icon, which is the keyboard shortcut of the colon key. Let's click on that. And this is going to be the name of my vector, math constants. And then we can go to the matrices tables tab vector matrix operations, and we can click on the command or use the keyboard shortcut, control shift T. And then I will evaluate this inline. I'll just hit the equal sign. And there we can see the value of infinity and then E and then pi. Okay, let's take a look next at the norm of a matrix. And if we go to the drop down, we can go to the little tip that tells us what this does. It returns the norm of a column vector or a square matrix. It can also return the absolute value of a scalar or the magnitude of a complex number. And the norm basically gives you, it gives you a sense of the size or magnitude of a vector or square matrix. And if you want more information on how the norm is actually calculated, there is a great video on YouTube on the channel called Ritvik Math. So let's take a look at first this powers matrix that I showed in the last video. Let me click on the screen and then let's go to the vector matrix operations. And here is the command and you can see the keyboard shortcut. It's control shift and then the pipe character. Let's go to this and then I will type in powers the name of the matrix, and then hit the equal sign. Let's go to the math formatting tab, and then change from general format to decimal. So there you can see the norm of the powers matrix. Here we have a vector with five different values. Let's click on the screen, and then let's go to the matrices tables tab, and then from the drop down, then let's click on this command, and type in the name of this one, tens, and then hit the equal sign. And let's once again go to math formatting and change that to decimal. You can see that this is slightly bigger than the largest element uh, because, again, it's, it's a sense of the magnitude of this particular vector. Okay, and for the last one, let's take a look at the vectorize operation. And for vectorize, if you go to the tooltip, this will take a vector or matrix and apply element by element processing. And let's show why you would need to do that. Here I have a vector with some masses and a vector with some accelerations. You notice that this one has a unit of kilograms. This one has a multiplier of one of our physics constants. And that one is the acceleration due to gravity. So let's try to calculate this and I'll create the name of a variable. Let's call it force and I'll do underscore V for vector. And then I will use the definition operator. I will use the keyboard shortcut of the colon key. And let's type in the name of the first vector mass and then times Excel, the name of the other vector. Then I will click on the equal sign and here we get a single value. Let me go to the math formatting and change that to a decimal. So it is roughly 1470, 1471. Let's change the number of decimal places while we're at it. Uh, actually, let's go to, yeah, trailing zeros. Okay, uh, so there you see the value that we have over here. And why did we get a single value? Well, basically, it multiplied the 
first element here times the first element there, and the second element times the second element, third element times third element, fourth element times the fourth element, and then summed them up. If we want to verify that, I will expand this area that I hid some calculations in. By the way, if you are unfamiliar with areas, if you go to the document tab or text formatting, it's around here somewhere. You can put in a little area where you can hide your different calculations. Oh wait, there it is. It's grayed out right now. Let me deselect everything. Here's where you can put in an area to hide your different calculations. So anyhow, I created four different new variables. Force zero is equal to the zero elements of mass and acceleration. Force one is equal to the one elements, and then force two is equal to the two elements, and force three is equal to the three elements. Remember, once again, there is a special variable called origin that we can evaluate, and origin is set to zero. That means that the first element is the index number of zero. But anyhow, let's try summing up those different values. Let me create a new variable and I'll type it, type in, I'll call it force sum. And this is going to be, oops, I hit the equal sign. Let me backspace, let me use the definition operator. Force sum is equal to force zero plus force one plus force two plus force three. Let me move my cursor out of the way and then hit the equal sign. And so let me once again change the math formatting to a decimal. And there you can see the value over here. Uh, once again, we can change the number of decimal places. Let me change to one decimal place and trailing zeros, 1471.0. So again, if you just use regular multiplication, it's going to multiply each of the elements by each other and then sum them together. So what if I want to get element by element processing? That's where we need to use this vectorize operation. So let me scroll down over here and then let me click on the sheet and let me type in force. And this time I'll type in, let's call it force vectorize. And then I will use the definition operator of the colon key. And now I'm gonna to go to the matrices tables tab and then vector matrix operations. Here we have the vectorization function. There you can see the keyboard shortcut. And let's type in mass times acceleration, A-C-C-E-L. And then I will hit the equal sign. And now we get our vector where each of the elements was processed individually instead of summing them up. So when you're ever doing, whenever you're doing math with vectors, or not whenever you're doing it, but often when you are doing math with different vectors, if you need to force element by element processing, that's when you would use the vectorize operation. So there you have it. Those are the different vector and matrix operations you have in MathCAD.